Metro, Metropolitan Railway. Across the world, many a great city has its metro. It's part of the language. But here's where it all began. As a great city, London has always drawn people to it like a magnet, and traffic congestion is nothing new. It was the need to speed up travel through the crowded metropolis that drove the Victorians below ground to create the Metropolitan, the world's first underground railway. It was built just below street level by digging out a trench, lining the side walls with brick, and roofing over to create a tunnel, a technique known as cut and cover. The original line was opened in 1863, powered by the only technology then available, the steam engine. Here at London's Covent Garden in the London Transport Museum, we have the only surviving example of those original steam locomotives of the Metropolitan Railway. A great deal of attention was paid to passenger comfort. Here is an account from the Engineer magazine of 1898 describing the Metropolitan Railway's carriages. The whole train has an elegant, well-finished appearance. The roof is finished with gold, with a gilt cornice running around the compartment, and the woodwork fittings are of polished mahogany. The upholstery is of figured, rose-coloured Baghdad moquette, finished with silk lace and cord. Two particular features are the heating apparatus and electric lighting. These new and specially designed trains offer comfortable travel to city and suburban passengers alike. In those days, metropolitan passengers travelled in real style. From 1892, the railway to Chesham became a branch line as the Met avoided the town in its progress north. Its quaint Victorian coaches, working on a shuttle service, survived until electrification in 1960. Now four of these coaches are being restored on the famous Bluebell Railway in deepest Sussex.